Well, the Salt Lake City School District is rethinking its plan for remote learning. School board leaders saying that come January, students pre-K through sixth grade will be returning to the classroom for the first time this school year. Several parents in the community voiced their opinions about this to ABC4's Jordan Burroughs. And Jordan, what are parents saying about this decision tonight? Every parent wants what's best for their child. It's not an easy choice to decide what to do with your child's education, let alone during a global pandemic. And here in Utah, the COVID numbers are consistently getting worse. I talked to parents who want options, who want to stay remote, and who want to go back to the classroom. I also took their questions straight to the school board. Here is the culmination of school stress and sacrifice. We just can't do it anymore. We want the option like every other district. Doing homeschooling is super duper tough. <laughs> we feel very strongly about a choice. Voicing frustrations. To say we haven't been heard is a massive understatement. Parents say the stress and sacrifice are sinking them. We don't have choice. The Salt Lake City School District made the choice November 17th to send a pre-K through sixth graders back to school in phases come the end of January. Salt Lake was and is the only school district in the state of Utah to have 100% remote learning since the beginning of the school year. The board just, uh, has always said from the beginning that our goal was to get students back into the classroom as soon as we could do that safely. Safety, that's an uncertainty right now. However, the amount of data and research on children and the coronavirus is growing. According to the Utah Department of Health, children are significantly less likely than adults to be hospitalized or die from COVID-19. In Utah, kids ages 1 to 14 are hospitalized at a rate of 0.7 percent. Due to their own risk factors. Parents I talked to say this is a contentious topic. Some supported returning to in-person courses, while others liked the remote learning option. But most say what's important is to have a choice, a chance to decide what's best for their kids. I just see a lot of kids, um, including my own, that are just really falling behind. Star Smith says remote learning is too isolating. Meanwhile, Jason and Michelle Revere Courtois say they moved into the Salt Lake City School District because it has stayed with online learning. We made this decision. It was a struggle for us, and uh, uh, but we're really happy with it. The Revere Courtois say having the choice stretches teachers too thin. Education is important. Karen Knight, a licensed clinical social worker with Intermountain Healthcare, says jumping back and forth between the two options is not healthy for kids either. I think the lack of predictability, the unknown, that can be really hard on people. That unknown has parents feeling scared. They don't feel heard by the school district. Do you have anything specific you'd like me to ask the school district today? I just wish that they would be more honest and transparent. Top notch as well. Melissa Ford, school board president, says they host all of their biweekly meetings virtually and then post them online. They include about 15 minutes of live public comment in each one. Parents want what's best for their kids. That's why we're trying to listen to them. But the district cannot give every parent exactly what they want. I think you got to adjust your expectations and your standards. Again, we're all in this together, and nobody's doing this perfectly. And nobody is doing this alone. It may be kind of a um, n not black or white, one or the other. While they may never agree on what is right, the school board, the parents, the teachers, and the students are all weighing the same pros and cons facing the same impossible decisions and trying to do their best. Parents are going to be emotionally connected to that. It's been hard, I think, on everyone. And as unpleasant as it is to think about this, this is a pandemic. There are going to be outfair, out, unfair outcomes that are not right and not good. And those of us who can do more to help others should be doing that. The school board says as data changes, its decision could change. Ford tells me there is no threshold, no data point they are specifically looking at to make a choice. To look at the whole picture of how COVID is affecting school-aged children, the plan now is by February 8th, pre-K through 6th graders will be back in person. Reporting in studio, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.